Okay, here we go. Today, we're going to describe when resistors are wired in parallel and series. Know which measurements are equal and which are summative in series and parallel, and how to calculate the total resistance when series are, are wired. When resistors are wired in series and parallel. I would have gone for Okay. So, as I've alluded to before, um, water flowing through pipes is a really good analogy for visualizing electricity flowing through wires. Okay. A lot of textbooks use uh, pumps for batteries. Not a big fan of that. I think this leads to some misconceptions. I like water towers. But in order for you to understand water towers, or in order for the analogy to work out, you got to understand how a water tower works. So we have these swimming pool sized tanks elevated five, six, seven stories in the air. Like, wouldn't it be a lot cheaper just to put it on the ground? Like, those are really expensive billboards. Like, welcome to Lafayette. Okay. What's the point? Pressure is the point. Okay. Think of your experience swimming. As you go deeper into the water, what happens to the pressure? goes up. Water pressure is 100% dependent upon depth is the sole thing that determines depth. Or Sorry. Uh, depth determines water pressure. The deeper you go, the more pressure there is. Okay. And it, it is irregardless of how wide or how narrow the channel is or the column of water depth is solely determined sorry pressure is solely determined by depth so water pressure is generated caused created by elevating water high in the air <clears throat> there's this water is motivated to flow you pop a hole in that it's like okay good with that Okay, so this is our battery. Okay. Uh, just to fill out why we have like a better, this isn't really circuit related, this is just practical stuff. Um, water tower. Um, in our country, there's peak times when water is used in the mornings and in the nights when people take showers. Okay, we all like water pressure when we take showers. Like we hate it when the water pressure drops, right? When we're taking a shower, you're like, oh, that's just annoying. Oh. Okay, so if, uh, if we didn't have water towers, we'd have to have a lot of pumps to provide that water pressure uh, at those peak times. We wouldn't be using them all the time. It'd just be when we have a lot of, uh, a lot of demand, uh, a lot of people taking showers. So that's a lot of infrastructure. That is a lot of maintenance. That is a lot of money. Does that make sense? So the alternative is to build a water tower that has one pump that's continually feeding this, filling this up. In the mornings, when people take showers, it drops, but the, the pressure is still maintained relatively Good. And then throughout the day, it's filled back up. And then at night, when more people, other people take showers, and then throughout the rest of the night, it's filled back up. One pump. Costs a lot of money to make one of these, but once it's made, you're good for a really long time. That makes sense? So, there we go. Water tower. Okay. So, going back to circuits. I put a pipe on this and I put a kink in the pipe. What do you think the kink represents? A resistor. Good with that. And the flow coming out, that represents current. 
Get rid of that. Now, if I take and I put another kink in the same hose, what do you think happens to the total resistance? Increases. Here we go with that. That, that kink, we put the kinks in series, okay? So this is tying into what you saw on the pre-quiz video. We're adding up. And because of that, what's going to happen to the total current? Increase, decrease, stay the same. Decrease. That makes sense? Good there. So as we put more kinks in our hose, the total resistance is going to increase. The voltage didn't change, but as the resistance increases, the current goes down. Here's to that. Okay, so water tower analogy. Thumbs up when you have a guess. Talk to your neighbor. What do you say? Am I hearing dogs or elephants? Or babies? Correct answer is elephants. Educated elephants. Oh, baby bison. All right. So <clears throat> this is the application of this in series. Remember that equation? Okay. What that means is the point along here, every part along here, the current is the same. Okay. In a river, the current is the same regardless if the, if the river is shallow and fast versus deep and slow. You okay with that? In series, the current is the same. Okay, good with that. Have a conversation.
Correct answer is. Okay, correct answer is curious caterpillars like that. Okay, it is. I like that. All right. So, how does that reconcile with what we just talked about? You just told me that the current is the same in a series circuit. It is relative to other points in the circuit. I'm going to make up some numbers here. Okay. Let's say this in this original circuit, there's two amps flowing out of the battery. There's two amps here, two amps here, two amps here, and two amps there. All points, two amps. If you change the circuit, the total resistance changed. <clears throat> the total resistance did what? Increased or decreased? Decreased. You took away a resistor. Therefore, Okay, the battery didn't change. The voltage didn't change. So the total current has to go up. We have less kinks. It's like here I've got have a third one and it's like like dripping out and then I I take oh take away a kink and I decrease the resistance therefore more water <coughs> flows out. Okay, so we had two amps at any point along here. Now I have, I'm making this number up, three amps, three amps, three amps. The current is the same at all points relative to other points in that circuit. But if I change the circuit, that's going to change the total current. But it's going to be changed equally around this so does that make sense how that is reconciled with this it is the same at all points relative to the circuit but if you change the circuit that's going to change the total current and all points in this new circuit are going to have the same current but it's going to be more current than the previous one how are we doing Yeah. That that right there is a popular misconception. Hopefully we got that ironed out. Okay. Thumbs up when you have a guess. Have a conversation. Correct answer is? Okay, I heard A's and B's. Both of you, which are using Ohm's Law, good job. B would be correct if the circuit looked like this. B would be correct if it was only one resistor hooked to the battery then it would be six amps. But there's other ones. Okay, so catch this. 
when you use Ohm's law. <clears throat> All your measurements need to be consistent. Okay, if you're looking for the current, um, I need to find my total resist. I need if I'm trying to find my total current, I need to find my total resistance. Okay, the total. Uh, the voltage across this is the battery is the total. So I got 24 volts. I'm looking for my total current. I need my, t my total resistance. So in series, I add them up and I get 12 ohms. So my total current is equal to two amps. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Okay. Good with that. Follow up question. So potential drop, another way to say this is voltage, voltage drop. Tell your neighbor what you think. I just tell you to talk to your neighbor. I, yeah, that mental telepathy thing is strong in here. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. <laughs> Guesses. Okay, you are again going to use Ohm's law. However, you're going to find it for an individual component, an individual part of the circuit, an individual resistor. Okay, so all of these need to be consistent with this. So you have a four ohm res resistor. What's the current? going through this guy two amps because in a series circuit the current is the same at all points okay so you got two amps so your voltage or potential drop your voltage drop is what eight volts Good at that. Okay. So, summary use Ohm's law. But if you're trying to find total, every part of this needs to be total. If you're trying to find an individual part, every part needs to be consistent with that individual part. Don't mix and match total and but in series, the total is the individual because 
the current at every spot is equal in a series circuit. So that's like an important characteristic. Okay. Next question. Have a conversation. Tell them why you think so. Correct answer is? Correct answer is B. Good job. Beautiful babies. What? Okay. So here, each has each resistor has two amps. So this this has a ten volt drop here and a six volt drop here. Good at that. Okay. Uh, Kirchhoff's loop rule says that your total voltage gain is equal to your total voltage drop. Okay. What's giving energy to electrons? Power supply. 24 volt gain. What's taking energy away from the electrons? The resistors. So you have six volt drop plus plus a ten volt drop plus an eight volt drop. What do those add up to? Twenty four, and that will always happen. Not the twenty four part, but the fact that the voltage gain is equal to the sum of the voltage drops. Okay, with a loop. Okay, here's an analogy. Uh, I call this chutes and ladders. Okay, so your battery is like a ladder that's giving you, uh, we're kind of comparing this to like potential energy. Okay, so you have a 24 volt gain. And then you're connected to a wire. Now, ideally, the wire isn't going to take any energy away. But in, a la in your lab, when you measured from points A to B the voltage, you found that to be a really small number, like 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.04 volts. <clears throat> there is a little bit of resistance in those wires, taking a little bit of energy away. Ideally, there would be no change in energy. Does that make sense? Okay, there. Okay. But then you hit the resistor, and it's like a slide. Six volt. That's your chute. You're like, ah, and you drop six volts. Then you hit another wire, and then it's a 10 volt drop. Bigger, bigger slide, like, ah. and then there's an eight volt drop. Ah. Let me draw my ladder a little bigger. And you come over here, and you do it again. But every gain is what is equal to your drops. And this is always true for any loop.
Okay. It is the loop rule is a consequence of the conservation of energy. Energy can't be created or destroyed. Whatever it puts in is what you get out. Do that. How are we doing? <coughs> Powerful concept right there. Okay. Just did that. All right. Switching gears to parallel. So if you're if you printed out the slides, I just changed the order here. It's all there. It's just, uh, yeah, trying something new. Thumbs up when you have a guess. It's from pre-quiz and your experience. Have a conversation. Okay. What do you say? Correct answer is B. Stays the same. Okay. Here is here is another way to draw a schematic diagram for a parallel circuit. You have your battery and a light bulb, a resistor. You draw another, <clears throat> you hook this up, okay? This is the same as that, practically. You're just using more wire here. Hook up another one. This is independently hooked up. Okay, so if I take this one out, is that going to affect these two? <coughs> no. Does that make sense? Do you see uh, the consistency from what you did yesterday in lab? Okay. Um, so our chutes and ladders. Okay, you have 120 volts in this example. 120 volt gain. But in parallel, for a single loop, voltage gain equals voltage drop. You have 120 volt drop here. So how do you do that in, in parallel? It's a playground that has multiple slides. You have choices. You can go down the spiral slide, you can go down the straight slide, you go down the weavy, bumpy slide, whatever. But it's, it's all 120 volt drop. Does that make sense? Okay. Independently hooked up. I do want you to like make connect, like try to like think back to yesterday and try to make connections. Okay. All right, so in our water tower analogy, how do I draw? I've got a sink. Here's, here's a single light bulb hooked up. How do I add another light bulb in parallel to that one with our water tower analogy? Any guesses? Okay, like the idea. I'm gonna pop another hole in my water tower at the same height. 
keep the same pressure. So if I turn this one on or off, does that affect this one at all? Nope, totally fine. Independently hooked up, has the same pressure. Go to that. How are we doing so far? See a lot of phones. Feel like we're doing all right. Or don't care. Okay. All right. Thumbs up when you have a guess. Have a conversation. Correct answer is Correct answer is What is a good A adjective? Amazing Anacondas. Is it A? A. Oh. Okay. Here's the deal. Sorry. Okay. I'm looking at an individual, right? <clears throat> in in parallel, what measurement is the same, consistent across each one of those? Voltage. Voltage is like the, pr the previous one is 120 volts. That's the same. The total is the individual. It's the same. Okay. So as resistance, I want current to be up for most current. So what has to be true about the resistance? Has to go down. Okay. Think about our water tower. Okay. Let's say I've got this one has more kinks in it. Okay. Both are independently hooked up. Um, oh, should have thrown this out at you. Yesterday in the lab, I intentionally gave you identical light bulbs. They came from the same Christmas tree strand. They all have the same resistances. Here, these have different resistances. These are different light bulbs. Does that make sense? Sorry, I could see why devious dinosaurs would have been attractive. Does that make sense? Okay, different light bulbs. So this one is going to have the most current going through it because it has the least amount of resistance. Okay. up when you have a guess. Have a conversation. Okay. 
Correct answer is amazing antelope. Okay. <clears throat> Voltage is the same. Make this brighter. I need my current to be higher. We just said the 70, the most, the least resistance had the most, most current. Okay. Um, here's a shortcut. Here's our equations that we developed a while ago. I want to use the equation that has a variable that is fixed for every resistor for every circumstance which equation am i going to use the right or the left equation i'm going to use the right because each resistor has the same voltage that's fixed so to make the power greatest i'm making the resistance the least in parallel. Okay, you do that. Your neighbor. Correct answer is A. Okay. Here, here's the deal. They're independently hooked up. Okay. Independently hooked up. They both have 12 volts. In this loop, you have 12 volts. You have 12 volts here, 12 volts here. I'm not worried about the next one. Okay, so we had two we had two ohms, therefore you're gonna have six amps going through this one and through this one. It's independently hooked up. You have four amps going through that one. Independently hooked up. Okay. Tell your neighbor. Correct answer is. Uh -oh. 
Remember this equation? In parallel, that's our expression for um, that's our expression for total current. Okay, there are what? Look, look, look. There's four amps coming out of here. There's six amps co coming out of here. There's ten amps total coming out of the battery. In our water tower, there are. Six amps coming out of here, four amps coming out of here. Total draining from the water tower is 10 amps. Good with that. So this is my <clears throat> rendition of the kink to water hose. Tell your neighbor. <laughs> Correct answer is. Alphabet soup. Um, so if I if I had another branch, this is gonna be something. We'll say it's one amp. The total current now is eleven. So it's B. Correct answer is A. Increases. We added another. There's more current coming out of the. Does that make sense? We're draining a water tower faster. There's another hole in our water tower. Okay. You can do this. You can do this. Correct answer is tell me. Oh. <laughs> Hey! Uh, the correct answer is you're increasing the total current. You're adding another resistor. Okay, think of it in terms of adding another branch. Think of adding another hole in water tower. You're adding another option for the elect electrons to flow through. Okay. I've got another analogy. You gotta like punch through this. And then I'll give you another analogy that I think will speak to you. Yeah. This this one? Or the previous one? The total, no, uh, n no, you do, but you don't know enough yet. I'll, I'll tell you here in a second that it's coming. It'll come complete circle. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Great question. Okay. Correct answer. 
Okay, so we're looking at total, total, total. What is true about the voltage in parallel? Staying the same. What's happening to the total current? What happened to the total current? We just answered this. It went up. So therefore, what has to be true about the total resistance? Has to go down. What? I add in resistors and the total resistance decreases? That is so counterintuitive. Okay. Let me give you an example problem real fast. I'm going to show you the math, and I'll give you an analogy that will make it make sense. Okay? Ready? Okay. So I'm trying to find the, the equivalent resistance, the total resistance of this circuit. From your notes, you said, I said this, the total resistance in, in parallel is 1 over plus 1 over plus 1 over. Right, that's that's from your notes. Okay, you've got a cool button on your calculator that does this really fast. It's one over x. Okay, so you hit twelve, one over x plus six, one over x plus four, one over x. Or you could do common denominators, least common denominators, like one twelve plus two twelve plus three twelve gives you six twelve, which is equal to one half. Don't stop there. Do not box that. Because that is equal to not R, but 1 over R. You do. X, X to the negative 1. Look for that button. Oh, I have that. You do have button. You have one of those buttons. Guaranteed. Okay? Now, in order to find the answer, you need to find the reciprocal of that. So hit that button again. Flips it. So the total resistance is equal to 2 ohms. That's your answer. Okay? Here's my, here's my analogy. Okay? It's Walmart at Christmas time. Okay? People are trying to get out of Walmart as fast as possible. What's preventing them from getting out? The checkout lines. The checkout lines are the resistors. Okay? If you open another checkout line at Walmart, does that help or hinder get people out of there? It helps. You're adding another resistor in parallel. You're giving another way out. That's increasing the total current. That's decreasing the total resistance because we added another checkout line. We added another resistor in parallel. So we, we speed up the amount of people getting out of Walmart, meaning the total resistance went down. Total current goes up. Does that make sense? That, that was my attempt for the water tower analogy. You added another hole to your water tower. The Walmart one makes more sense. Okay. Go to that. Yes, it does. Worksheet, do you want to 